Oh, she couldn't even get close to me. She said, I have this nervousness that affects everything that interferes with everything in my life. Hi there, friends. I'm Renanda Barros with the Barros Ministries, bringing to you real life testimonies about the living and life-changing power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the story I'm bringing to you guys today is about Brittany from our meeting in New York. What do they call it like an introvert? No, it's just like an extreme nervousness about everything that interferes with everything. Like, you're too close to me, the microphone, there's a camera right there, there's people <laughs> everywhere. You know, it's like ongoing. She came up to be delivered from anxiety, something that had been tormenting her for years. And she came up to me not wanting to get close to me. She was intimidated by the camera. She was intimidated by the crowd. She had this effect many areas of her life, including her relationships and everything else. And I heard the Lord telling me that she needed to be set free from a demon, from an oppression. You want to be set free? You do. I do. And as I laid hands on her and cast this thing out, I break this bondage in Jesus' name. She started feeling lightheaded. She felt like she was going to fall backwards. I feel like I'm like falling backwards. Yeah, we need to catch her. <laughs> and I didn't push her backwards, but I told her, you can yield to the power of God that is touching your body right now. And she did. She, she laid down. And when she got up, she was a new person. Praise God. She was completely transformed. She was giggling. She was happy. She told me, actually, she felt like she was 3,000 pounds lighter. I was, like, dizzy at first. I thought I was falling over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <But> <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazing. It is really yeah. amazing. You didn't take three steps back right now. You know how close I am to you right now? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> she noticed, but... It's like a little weird, a little, but it's... But you feel something so broke much loose, better, right? Yeah. You, felt, you felt a release, didn't you? No, I got, I got dizzy, and like I'm still a little hot, and like I said, I started all over and then it was just clear for a while. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise God, she was completely set free from something that tormented her for a long time. You've been set really free. <laughs> What's that? I said it feels really good. Praise God. It's a relief. A huge relief. Because a bondage has been set free. loose from your life. Yeah. It feels great. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Praise God. I want to hear. This is gonna. This is gonna affect your entire life. It is. You're gonna. This everything is gonna change. Yeah. Your relationships, the way you deal with people, the way you, you deal with your fiance. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like me better. <laughs> it's gonna change everything. <sighs> I just feel like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's great. I can't believe I almost fell over. <laughs> it's okay. Wow. That's really intense. Did you think that was going to happen tonight? I didn't. You mean like when I came here? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't expect anything like that. <laughs> Not at all. Now, we like following up with people who have been touched by the power of God at our meetings because the enemy is always trying to steal something away they may have received. So we followed up with Brittany to see how everything was doing and it, it's amazing. She's been, she's been doing great. She says, I'm doing great. My anxiety was completely gone for about a week. It did come back a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as before. I've only taken the medication for it once since the meeting. I used to take it almost every day. Now, almost a couple of months have gone by. And praise God, Brittany used to take a medication on a daily basis just to function. And no more does she have to do that. She's completely set free. She had to take it once since, but praise God, for two months she took it one time. Um, you know that by what she's saying, the enemy's been trying to come back with some darts and trying to, to take away 
the peace that she received that she had for a full week, right? Um, she continues, she says, God blessed our finances. I preached a lot. The Lord gave me some teaching messages on prosperity while I was in New York as well. So praise God. God blessed our finances and I am back to work part-time helping people who battle alcohol and drug addiction. Glory to God. Glory be to our Lord that she got set free from her torment, from her medications. And now she is helping people be set free from their addictions, from what torments them. Praise God. Now, I did talk to her and give her some uh, instructions on how to combat these attacks of the enemy. Because obviously, she felt complete peace for about a week, and then things got a little rocky. So here's how we fight this. I told her, stand on Isaiah 53, 5, which says, but he was pierced for our transgressions, our sins. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. Let me repeat that. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. He received all of the punishment for our torment. The chastisement of our peace was on him, on the cross. When Jesus died, he took away everything that would torment you and I. He washed us clean from every work of the enemy that would cause us to worry or de be, be depressed or feel anxiety, feel anxious. So praise God, we can stand on this word knowing that the Lord Jesus did this and that by his wounds we are healed. Hallelujah. Another word is from Galatians 5.1. I told her to stand on this, it says, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Friends, when something has happened in our lives, when the Lord has touched us, and we are free from something, we must stand firm, because the enemy may come back, and he will always come back, and try to do something to affect us again. But we stand firm on the freedom that was paid by our Lord Jesus Christ, what He's done for us on the cross. Praise God. I know that as I pray for you right now, if you're battling with anxiety, I know that the power of God, the anointing by the Holy Spirit can touch you where you are. Let's pray in faith right now that there is no separation in the Spirit, that there is no separation in geography and time, that the Spirit of God can transcend all of these things and touch you right now by the anointing in the words of faith that I'm speaking right now to you and set you completely free from whatever condition of anxiety you may have, from whatever depression you may be battling with, from whatever worry that may be affecting you. So I'm going to pray and we're going to, in faith, receive this anointing and this power that's going to set you free right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to the people under my voice right now that they receive your healing power, that it touches them, that they receive you, Jesus, and what you've done on the cross. And by the power invested in me and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus, I cast out any anxiety, you spirit of anxiety, of depression, I cast you out in Jesus' name. Be loose from their life in Jesus' name right now. Father, I pray that you seal these words of life into their hearts, that your words are life and light that will guide them into complete freedom in the name of Jesus. Friends, stand on the Word of God, for it is the truth that will set you free. Thank you so much for everybody who's been encouraging my wife and I in this ministry. We have been just overwhelmed by the support and the people who have shared our videos, who have helped us in spreading the gospel. And we pray that He blesses you abundantly for every seed that you've sown into us. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.